Hi, good morning children. Today we will start our new chapter, fraction. So what do you mean by fraction? In class 4th you must have learned, right? Yes. So here I am going to explain about fractions. See, fraction can be represented as A by B. So what is A? A is numerator and B is denominator. And you can see one bar over here, right? A by B, what is that bar is called fractional bar. Clear? Okay. Then what is the definition of fraction? Definition of fraction is fraction is a part of a whole. Fraction is a part of a whole. Children, see here I have taken one circle. See, I have uh, divided into four. Okay. See, this is whole, right? Four. This is whole. Now I am going to do fraction. See, now what is the fraction? See, one blue part and the other three brown parts. So, what is the fraction of this thing? The circle now, 1 by 4. What is the uh, fraction of this blue? Okay, 1 by 4. Now, I am taking like this, see. Now, what is the fraction? It is 2 by 4. 2 shaded part, 2 blue colors and how many parts total? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 2 by 4. Next, I am taking, see, 1, 2, 3 blue shape, blue parts and uh, 1, total, the total part is 4 and 3 blue shapes, right? So, 3 by 4. Now, if you, if you take like this, this is whole, 4 parts, right? This is whole. Stop. Children, what is the fraction of this shaded part? Here, 1, a circle I have divided as 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 parts. So, the total part is 4. In this, only one part you have shaded. Right? So, this is 1 by 4. Part of a whole. Whole is 4. How many parts are shaded over here? Only one part. So, 1 by 4. Now, I am taking this strip. This is uh, 5 one whole that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am dividing uh, this whole strip into 5 parts. Okay. Now I am going to shade 1, 2, 3. So what is the fraction of the shaded part? Total uh, parts is 5 that you have written. Shaded part is 3. So this is 3 by 5. Clear numerator is 3 shaded parts. And denominator is the total parts of the whole. Or total parts of that strip. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 by 5. Children, now we will learn types of fractions. Okay. What are the types of fractions? See, first one is like fraction. Can you observe these fractions I have written over here? 1 by 12, 5 by 12, 6 by 12 and 7 by 12. Can you observe until? Yes. What do you observe? Denominators. Check here. Denominators are same. So like fractions means denominators are same. Sorry. Denominators are same. Fractions with denominators are same are called like fractions. Clear? Now, unlike fraction. What do you mean by unlike fraction? Can you observe the, these fractions? 3 by 11, 6 by 15, 5 by 7, 3 by 8. Here, what about the denominators here? These all are different, right? So, fractions with denominators are different. Are called unlike fraction. Fractions with denominators are same are called like fractions. Fractions with the denominators are called are different are called unlike fraction. Third one, proper fraction.
fraction. See here I have written some fractions 5 by 11, 3 by 7, 1 by 9, 6 by 13, 11 by 15. Can you observe and tell what is uh, what is the uh, relation between numerator and denominator? See 5 by 11, 3 by 7, 1 by 9, 7, 6 by 13, 11 by 15. Here all numerators are all numerators are what? Less than denominators. Numerator is less than denominators. Like that fraction is called proper fraction. See, if how you will identify is it a proper fraction or not? You have to check numerator and denominator. If numerator is less than denominator, then it is a proper fraction. Clear? Now we will go to improper fractions. Here I have written some more uh, fractions. 20 by 17, 11 by 8, 7 by 5, 23 by 11, 15 by 15. Can you observe uh, numerator and denominator? Here numerator is greater than or 15 by 15 is here, greater than or equal to denominator. See, compare 17 and 20, numerator is greater. 8 and 11, numerator is greater. 5 and 7, numerator is greater. 11 and 23, numerator is greater. Here, 15 by 15, it is equal, right? 15 is equal to 15. So, numerator is greater than or equal to denominator. Means, it is Improper fraction. Now I am giving one question. 35 by 21. Is it a proper fraction or improper fraction? So what you have to check numerator. You have to compare numerator and denominator. Numerator is greater than denominator. Right? So it is an improper fraction. Next unit fraction. Can you observe these fractions? 1 by 20, 1 by 5, 1 by 3 and 1 by 11. What about the numerators dears? Yes. In all fractions it is 1. Right? So unit means what? 1. Right? So that because of the 1, 1, 1, 1 all numerators are 1. So this fraction is called unit fraction. Suppose I am giving 1 by 10. Which type of fraction is this? Unit fraction because numerator is 1. So you can identify that it is a unit fraction. So I hope uh, unit fraction also clear for you all. Next we are going to mixed fraction. Now what do you mean by mixed fraction? See here I have written, here I have drawn pictures right? See one circle, the whole part is shaded. You all ate pizza, right? Yes. Suppose you assume that this is pizza. One whole pizza, this is one whole pizza. Then, in from one pizza you ate only one part. This two whole pizzas you have ate. Plus, from the third pizza you ate only one portion. Okay. So 1 plus 1, the whole 2, 1 pizza, the whole 1 pizza. So 2 pizza you have eaten plus from this you ate only one portion. See, the, this portion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 pieces are there. In that only one piece you have eaten. Okay. One, so how you will write? 1 by 6. Clear? 1 by 6. Compare this numerator and denominator years. It is numerator is less than denominator. Right? Numerator is less than denominator. Which type of fraction is that? That is proper fraction. Right? That is proper fraction. Clear? So, mixed fraction means a whole number. It is a combination of a whole number. And a proper fraction. Look at here. You can see that one whole pizza, the one whole pizza, and one by six only, right? In this. So a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. 
then it is called mixed fraction so what are the types of fractions you learn right like fraction means numerator or sorry the num denominators are same right what are the types of fraction like fraction denominators are same unlike fraction in unlike fractions denominators are different proper fraction how you will understand identify the is that proper fraction or not you will check numerator whether numerator is less than or denominator if it is like that it is a proper fraction improper fraction means always numerator is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to denominator mixed fraction how you will come to know is it a mixed fraction or not a com it is a combination of a whole number see but it is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction proper fraction means numerator less than denominator so mixed fraction means it is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction now we will come to unit fraction what do you mean by unit fraction years numerator should be 1 1 by 10 1 by 11 all those are unit fractions i hope types of fractions clear for you all next we are going to learn converting a mixed number into a improper fraction <coughs> clear see here i have given one question 2 3 by 5 how you will con convert this is mixed fraction right how you will convert into a improper fraction for that what you will do 2 3 by 5 first you multiply these two okay this you will multiply 5 into 2 is equal to what 10 you got the answer as 10 right then you will do addition 10 plus 3 is equal to what? 13. 13 divided by the denominator you have to write. Clear? See now it is improper fraction, right? Improper fraction means what? Numerator is always greater than or equal to denominator. See, converting a mixed number into a improper fraction. Here I have given 2, 3 by 5. how you will do first you will multiply 5 into 2 that denominator part into whole number so 5 into 2 you will get the answer in plus you will do the numerator see 5 into 2 is equal to 10 plus numerator what is the numerator 3 right then divided by you will write the denominator only 5 10 plus 3 is equal to what 13 13 by 5 now you will compare numerator and denominator numerator is greater than denominator so it is an improper fraction so i hope children how to convert from a mixed number into a improper fraction first you have to multiply denominator and the whole number then you have to add the numerator and then you have to uh, put the same denominator clear now we are going to learn converting an impo improper fraction into a mixed fraction okay improper fraction into a mixed fraction see i here i have given 14 by 5 how you will divide this you will divide like this right 14 by 5 so how many times 5 will go in 14 Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Right? So you will take only two times. Five twos are ten. Then what is the remainder? Four minus zero is equal to four. Clear? Now how you will write? You will write it as fourteen by five is equal to whole number. Right? Whole number plus a proper fraction. So what is the whole number over here? Two, two, proper fraction, four by five. Here you know right how to write the quotient Q R by D. You will write right the same thing. Q is equal to two R. Reminder is equal to four by 
D. Okay, 2, 4 by 5. Now you check, it is 2 is a whole number? Yes. Here numerator is less than denominator. That is proper fraction. So a whole number and a proper fraction. So converting an improper fraction into a mixed fraction, 14 by 5. You just need to divide. Same how you will write the answer, Q, R, Y, D. Same like you have to write. Then you cross check, it will be a whole number and a proper fraction. Clear? Children, I hope the concept of fraction and types of fractions are clear for you. Now, kindly finish your classwork and homework which I have given. Thank you children.